Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo, Affinity Design and possibly Affinity Publisher uh, tutorial looking at printing out your documents. Um, there have been recently in a couple of Facebook groups there have been questions especially about Affinity Photo these are questions about but the first one was about the when you're printing out a document the print screen has like this big red square over it and they want to know what was going on and another question was about in the old serif program I think it was craft artist you could do what is called N up printing and I had absolutely no idea what N up printing was um, even though I do have the craft artist program I've never used it so I had a quick look around and I've I have discovered where where it is and I have sort of tinkered and tried to learn a little bit about how to use it. As for the first question, now I was sort of beaten to the punch in answering that question by Richard Spasano's Digital Fearless channel, which is like the red box when printing solved, Affinity Photo 1.7 also works in Affinity Designer. Now, it's a very good video and I will link this video into mine. Um, but one thing this did show me, because this is done on a Mac and I work on a PC, and what it has shown me is the difference between the print screen on a PC, which is this one here, and the print screen on a Mac. I've never used a Mac and I don't know whether all Mac print screens are the same, but this is a screen grab I took from Richard's video. Um, so as you can see on the PC version, there seems to be a lot, especially down here, there's much more detail down here. It seems to be pretty much the same at the top, you know, from custom down to automatic, which you have here, like you've got printer and then orientation. But a lot of the entries are the same, but in different positions. On the PC version, you seem to have this extra bit down the bottom. Now, whether you can access these extra bits on a Mac via the Hide Details button, I really don't know. If you can't, I don't know whether you can do N up printing on a Mac because the option you're going to need is Model, which isn't an option that I can see on this screen grab I took off the printer um, splash screen so if you aren't going to do this with a Mac maybe you need to click on the high details to get the extras um, I really don't know but if you can't then maybe you can't use end up printing on a Mac but it's way beyond my knowledge because I've never used a Mac in my life so getting back to the questions in hand and sorry for that little bit of going off subject slightly. Um, I'm going to sort of recover what Richard did in his video, and that's looking at the red box that you get when you do opt for printing. So I've got this picture here that I took of where I live, and we come down to print. So you get that print screen that I was telling you about, and this red box that is much larger than the picture that is displayed because this is the image is much larger than the print area which uh, hopefully you can see the print area is this red line that's in between so what you need to do is come down to fit type which at the moment is set to scale which I think is the default at 100% and come down to fit principle and that will reduce the image to go into the printable area that is available. Now again in Richard's video when he did this and he fitted it in the red area disappeared but on my version at least the red area is still there covering the image um, but it just means that it will fit the screen whether it's you know different on the Mac than it is on a PC I don't know but that is basically the main reason why that red area is much bigger than 
the actual print area when you start off. So let me just cancel that. And then we're going to look at the N up printing. So what I've done is here, I've just done a very quick mock up of this sort of affinity type logo thing here. And so I've got one up on a screen. So if I come to file and print, I see much like before, because this I've got this up on an A4 page and the orientation for this and the size for the printing area for this is A4. So the view that you see here is pretty much the same as what is over here, so the area is not all red. And to get the N up printing, if you come down to model where it says single and you've got tiled and then N up. And when you click on N up, you get these other options. Now, I've been tinkering with this to try and understand how it all works. And I will freely admit that I'm not 100% certain how everything works. It's the documentation for this is ridiculously silly and non non-existent. I think all it does in the help files is tell you how to get to N up printing, not what to do when you get there. So maybe somebody else can add maybe comments about what you can and can't do with N up printing, but this is how I've worked it out what to do. So you've got the across, down, repeat, skip, left, top, H gap, V gap, which I'm guessing is horizontal gap and vertical gap. So at the moment we're doing one across and one down. So if I change that one across to three, as you can see, that red area has now come back because it is now larger than the print area. So what I would do is bring this back to fit printable. And, and the orientation has now changed from portrait to landscape. But if I do three down, it's, it's changed that orientation to portrait again. The area is still red because I've reduced the size down to fit that printable area, I'm assuming, anyway. But you still are only getting one image of that logo. So this is where I'm going to repeat. So if I change this to three, it's going to put in three, which is the three across. And if I change that to six, it will put another three across. And if I change that to nine, that will now give me it were you know the allowed area is three across and three down. So when you print this out, although you only have one on your screen here, it will print out the nine that I have here. And you can skip, which I, if I change this to two, let's say, and I press return, what it has done is taken those first two away and added another page and put those other two on the next page. Which I'm not 100% certain why you'd want to do something like that. I mean, I could, for example, make that four across and say four down. That will all be on the one page and it will skip the first two. And those extra two would be added to the end. So we have the nine repeats going on up here. So... That is basically what happens with the, you know, the repeats and across and downs. What happens with the top left vertical and horizontal gap is a little bit more mystifying. Because if I put in, if I make that 10 millimeters to the left, you can't really see that. Let's let me make that. Let's make that 30. As you can see, that has now moved it over from the left by 30 millimeters. And if I make this 30, 
that has moved it down and left by 30 millimeters. And the H gap and vertical gap, I think that is the gap between the different um, icons that are up here. So if I change the H gap to 30, See, all that's done is put a bigger gap at the bottom, and if I do 30 here, see, it, it doesn't. I thought it would make the gap between the different icons wider apart, you know, be it either vertically or horizontally, but it doesn't seem to do that, or at least not from what I can see. So, that is a bit I don't really understand what is going on here, and to my mind, it's all a bit hit and miss um, because if you wanted repeated versions of this and you want to make it a bit more precise I personally would have gone with you know put it in guidelines possibly and then just copying the layer you want and fitting them on as best you want in various different layers but just so you are aware that this end up printing is available and you can add multiple images of the one image you have and print them out sort of multiple times. So basically that is the end. Like I said, I really don't fully understand why you would need to use this, but you are now aware that that option is available. Now just to, and I have not really checked this out, let me go back and see what tiled does. Um, so let's go with let's go with an overlap of 30. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Nothing visible. Yeah, so I don't. I really don't know what that is going to do. Let's try 60. So nothing sort of happening up here. So I, don't, I really don't know what will happen. But I'm guessing it will maybe print tiled versions all over the page. Um, but that is something else somebody else can look into because without the documentation it's very hard to know exactly what is going on so I'm going to cancel that and say thank you for watching and goodbye